Hi everyone, it's Brad Filipponi from BoxBrownie.com. Today I want to give you some great photo tips to hopefully improve your real estate photography and of course teach you something you don't know. Let's get stuck into it. All right everyone, we have our first image here. Great looking shot of the backyard. A uh, few things that really jump out at me, uh, a bit annoying the photographer didn't do it. Uh, we've got a dog's bed or, or toy here and a couple of dog's bowls. Look, really simple to move these, you know, when you're doing the initial walkthrough with the property agent uh, or the clients. Um, you could have put them straight here in the barbecue out of the way or even, even better, up the side of the house so that, so just so the clients know where to find them afterwards if you forget to tell them. Um, our chairs are in straight, which is great. Um, so I'm happy with that. Just those two, three little objects there really should be removed next time. Uh, we'll move on. Next we have the front of the home. Uh, great looking house. My only problem with this shot is it looks very cropped. Um, as you can see here to the left hand side of the image, you know, the roof guttering is very close to the end of the photo. Never a good look. And we've almost even chopped off a little bit of this side access here. So I would have stepped maybe one or two big steps backwards and reshot that image and it would have been a lot nicer. Uh, and just to confirm this also, I actually would have pulled up these two blinds here that are down. Um, always never a good look to have down, you know, blinds down in the front of your shots. Makes the house not look, look you know, look lived in, things like that. Um, as you can see, the uh, middle blind is open, um, but the rest of them should be as well. Next, we have a kitchen shot. What really jumps out at me you know, in this image is the neighbors next door. So um, always good to try and hide them anywhere you can. Here, you know, we do have blind tricks that you can use, which we'll talk about later on. However, in this circumstance, I would have just brought the blinds all the way down. Um, that way, you know, you're masking out the neighbors and you know, I'm looking at the kitchen, not the neighbors next door. Another tip, I would have actually stepped back maybe one, two, th even three large steps back. Because when you're shooting a kitchen, it is always great to get the, uh, the hallway in the shot like this, which is perfect. However, you really want to get more of this wall in the shot as well. Um, that's going to create space. It's just going to make the kitchen look bigger. And by standing those, you know, one, two, three steps back, it's just going to be a nicer look overall. So when you're shooting your kitchens, always take this into account. Here we have, I guess you'd call it a living area shot. Um, see these bulky chairs? Look, in my experience, it's never nice shooting up and close with these. This photographer has actually shot quite low as well. Um, what I would have done is actually step maybe, you know, a good five, six feet back and shot this again and got more of the actual room itself and less of the couches. Um, this shot doesn't look very big. Uh, you always want spaces to look as large as they can in real estate photos without going over too much. Um, and another few things here, I do like it that this door is open. Great stuff, creates space in shots. But speaking of that blind trick, I would have brought the blinds down to the top of the fence here. Um, what that does is it, it masks out the neighbors like we've spoken about in plenty of videos. Um, but look, it still happens every day and we see it every day. So until we stop seeing photos like this, we won't stop talking about it. But blind trick down, doors open, shot a bit wider. This would have been a total different shot. Here we have a bathroom shot. Looks great to most, but to me, there's stuff here that should have been removed that wasn't. A uh, little bit disappointing to be honest, but hey, that's, that's life. So those things I would have removed. Look, there was only two shampoo slash conditioner bottles. They should have been pushed right to the side, even put them on the ground, uh, right in the corner. Uh, you know, of that shower. You're not gonna see them in the shot. Takes you honestly two seconds. And over here, it looks like we have some sort of light with a, what we call in Australia, a stubby cooler. Um, you know, to all of our US clients, that would be a koozie. Um, so I would, I would have taken that out of shot. And I also would have removed the drain plug here. You know, chuck this stuff straight in the bottom of the bath if you have to, so it's easily accessible later on, out of shot. Um, look, there's not much excuse for that. That's, that's pretty poor photography. Another thing I would have done, I actually would have shot this, you know, this image at eye level, um, creates more, more space in your shots. And I probably would have even stepped back a couple of feet as well. Um, maybe try to get the, you know, get the, the bathroom door on the shot, always frames it nicely. 
This shot just looks crop to me. I've, I haven't stepped foot into this property, but I can just tell with my experience, it looks cropped and those couple of factors will help very much. Once again, uh, you know, not a bad shot. You know, all, all our tap wears straight, which is great. Um, always a good thing to take into account. Um, you know, we've got a lot of haze here on the shower. Um, not much we can do about that, not even the editing process. We can't really make out what's behind there, so we can't really remove that. This kit, uh, sorry, this kitchen, this bathroom does look a lot cropped as well. I would have stepped back, you know, included more door frame in the shots, uh, and this would have been a better shot. Here we have an exterior shot uh, of the property. Look, not much we can do with this. It looks quite good, quite happy with that. Things I'm looking for are straight chairs, which they are, which is great. The only nitpick I can put on this is I maybe would have angled it more to the right of the photo, um, just so we got more of this area in, maybe even including that fence in the shot to show perspective. Look, not a bad shot, but I think if it was angled more to the right, it would be even better and tell a better story. We'll move on. Ah, there's our big bulky chairs again. Um, look, I, straight away, I'm seeing the neighbors, so blind trick here, bring them down to the top of the fence, very important. This just would have been all lost in that circumstance. Here, I would have actually brought the blind down, probably the same, same level as the fence. Um, seeing this little bit of the, uh, the neighbors isn't bad when these, when, they, you know, when these fences are pulled down because you're only gonna see fence and rendered wall and no one's gonna know what that rendered wall is. So that would, that would actually mask it really well. I actually would have once again angled this photo to the right. This image, I'm just looking at the back of this chair. Not, a, not an attractive shot at all. Um, I would have shot it more eye level. So it's always good to shoot down. Uh, I would have included more of this dining table here as well, because it's just cropped out. It's really just cropping this shot down once again. Um, so close, but could be a lot better. Here we have a, what looks like maybe a master bedroom with our walk-in wardrobe. Um, once again, blind trick straight away. Um, yeah, crazy it's missed. It's, it's, it's pretty, you know, those neighbors are right there. Uh, and once again, I would have stepped a few feet back. Always include uh, the door in your bedroom shots. We have a blog on that, a great blog actually, so make sure you go dig for that. And this would have just made this room look so much bigger. Another thing that's really jumping out at me is this cord here. Uh, there's not much I don't miss, um, and it's a little bit disappointing when things like this just, just aren't, aren't shot right. You know, that really would have made a huge difference and made this better. I probably could have even gone a little bit step further and maybe just, uh, you know, fix these pillows up a little bit better as well. They're a little bit scuffy. They could be looking a lot better. Just a quick sort of pillow fluff and, and they're all good to go again. Um, if this baby cot was able to be removed, I would have put it straight here into the walk-in wardrobe. Lastly, probably would have even got rid of this moisturizer bottle here. It does go on, but those little changes would have really made this, you know, room look just so different. We'll move on. Here we have the kitchen shot once again. Uh, doors open, which is great. Uh, pull the blinds down here, which you can, it's pretty obvious. Uh, even these family photos here are crooked. You know, I, I really would have quickly just, just, you know, made those straight. Not a bad shot. I probably would have tried to shoot it more from this way. Um, once again, this room looks quite big and small at the same time. I think with a better angle, it could have been shot a bit, little bit nicer. And you know, I'm not seeing any of that dining table there, which was there previously. So far, I've only seen a third of that dining table. So I wonder if we had that dining area in more of these shots. So we'll, move, we'll keep moving forward. Ah, well, there you have it. That's our last shot. So, you know, a, a quick conclusion. I, I didn't see that dining table area at all in that photo shoot. Make sure you pull your blinds down. So important on a shoot like that. When you're shooting the outside, take numerous angles and pick the best one on your computer afterwards. And look, I think that's all for us for now. Hope you enjoyed this and got some great tips today.